to Lucky Time oh. Explosion! Wow! <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Wow, after three hours, we did that for three hours. <sighs> we didn't even lose our breath. I'm exhausted. That's been edited. I'm we, going home now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Happy Wednesday? Yeah. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Hump day. Middle of the week. Oh, I made it this far. Yeah, I did. What stupid day of the week is it? What what holiday do we have this Let's time? Let's get right to it. Oh, my. You know, get it out of the way. You know, I can't wait. I know you love it. Uh, um, Hey, everyone. You got a dog? Where's your dog? You see your dog? Hug your dog. You want to know why? Because it's National Hug Your Dog Day. That's dumb. That's so really sad stupid. that people need to be have a national day to tell yeah. them to hug their damn dog. Yeah. Just hug your dog every day. Yeah. Oh, you well, got to wait for a day. It's yeah. nice to celebrate. That's good. You know. That's true. Have, you know, someone to just, what's it hurting? Do you think the dog knows? Like Nobody. he walks into the room like, I know what day it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure they have cakes that. You know, ice cream cakes for dogs. <laughs> okay, next. If your name is Calvin, <laughs> this is your fucking day. What? <laughs> yeah. what you, why? I don't know. Calvin's Calvin sick, day? I guess there was like a narcissistic Calvin. He's like, fuck it. Today's my day, bitch. Wow. And uh, <laughs> somehow he made it. I still, We still have to do a little bit more research on how to get a real national day. But Calvin Klein? We should wear Calvin Klein that day. Yeah. Well, well for, for the I think ladies. I am. I am. I'm wearing Calvin Klein undies. Oh, wait, are you? Yep. Calvin. Because oh, I knew it was Calvin oh. day. I'm wearing Hanes. Nice. Hanes day is pinched. next week. Do they got... You get pinched if you're not wearing Calvin Klein on <laughs> yeah, Calvin <that's>... day. <laughs> Yo. Any excuse to pinch you. <laughs> I'm wearing bamboo. I got bamboos. They're called bamboo. I like them. Not um, sponsored. Also, uh -huh. it is National Nana Day. <laughs> National Nana. I like this picture. What? I'm going to try to show that on the thing. That is not a Nana right there. That's she's, like... She's a fake Nana. Nana. That's like an au pair. My, Na I, called, I called my grandmother Nana. Did you? Yeah. Nana and Granddaddy. Grandma. I think I called my grandmother by her first name. Hmm. Susan? What? Yeah. Let's guess what his grandmother's first name was. You'll never guess because I don't remember. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> this How is Mary. not very National Mary. Nana Mary. Day. Mary. Yeah. Yeah, said yeah. Mary. It's Mary. <laughs> it's been a minute. Uh, Love you, Grandma. Rest in peace. Also, uh, hug all your farm animals. It is oh, National Farm there we Day. Go. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. You're, you're my good. farm animal. <laughs> you're you're, you're dead. You yeah. stupid farm animal. <laughs> now I'm going to eat your meats. <laughs> uh, and it is also this is a weird one International Safety Pin Day. Oh my god! Hug all your safety pins. That's good for all. If you're the into punks. golfing, it's National Golf Day. And oh, look at this! This is National Siblings Day. Do you do you have any brothers and sisters? You want to push off a bridge? <laughs> I I had AI write a song about National Siblings Day for us today. Oh wow, Get nice! I'm and I'm gonna perform it. It came with the chords. That's all right, crazy brothers and sisters side by side. Through thick and thin we'll ride On this special day we'll say Thankful for you in every way Amazing. AI, ladies. See, you need, you need a, a real person to bring it to life, though. Yeah, I, well, yeah. I just had to pump, mm. pump out the chords and... You know, it's and just the lyrics. simple. There we go. And the lyrics, the lyrics, right. No, I wrote those lyrics. Are you ever going to write your own song again, or are you just going to outsource this now? No, I, I was <laughs> thinking it'd be funny to have a whole like album where we just do this. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that also might be horrible. <laughs> I could see how and, it would be really horrible. really lame, but, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just a fun thing to think about. Yeah. Well, things are changing. Maybe we'll see more AI all over the place. Yeah. I mean, listen, if you're you're one person, you can now be a full band with AI. It's yeah, the way it is. I still worry about model collapse, which is going to happen. What's which model is, collapse? So model collapse is a thing about with AI where once everybody just decides that's what we're doing now and starts using AI like crazy, there will be less original content for AI to train itself on and it will start training itself on the content it has generated from original content in the past, which means like a bad Xerox copy or like a cell copying Feed itself and degrading. Feedback loop. Yeah, it'll eventually turn into like a feedback loop and it'll start collapsing. And this has happened already. They study it a lot. Uh, if you use a lot of image diffusers and like AI image stuff, you'll see sometimes you'll log on to your like website and it'll be like, this model is now unstable. And then they have to like fix it. 
And that's because it's like it's it's feeding back on itself and eventually it will start referencing things that aren't original source material and it'll start getting weirder and weirder and fucked up until it just doesn't work anymore. Mm. So um, you have to keep writing songs, unfortunately, and not outsourcing everything to AI. Otherwise, it, it, it'll get real weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's helpful to think of songs as not a commodity, you know, I think uh, because in this way we've commodified writing. But when in actuality, the system of capitalism is a latticework that we place upon reality, right, to like translate reality into a way that serves us. But it's still just things that we do. That's right? true. My, writing music and making art are just things that we do. Yeah. Right. So, you know, commodifying it and turning it, putting it through AI is, a, is just a way to, you know, change that into something that is profitable. Um, In a way. I mean, and I sort of think that the AI stuff is also, it, it increases the amount of imagery being made and, and music being made to such a degree, I think it actually hurts the commodification of it. Oh. It, it turns it like the commodification of it, I think, is in the paying for the AI, mm -hmm. right? And like getting to pay the people to make these models to use and to be able to have like a uh, copyright free song come out of it. Mm -hmm. Like that's the commodity, right? But so many more people are making stuff now that it's going to devalue art as a whole, in my opinion. You I don't know. You think I just had a do you think there's ever going to be a, a job where your entire job is just to stop AI from doing itself? Like, you know what I mean? Like I think that's, that's most engineers' job. I think the funny thing is they were like talking. We were saying, uh, like that it, is a job, right? Yeah. Currently, like someone's out there programming and being like, "Hey, stop just using your own material." Like, right? right? Stop Didn't eating you say yourself. That stop this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They they have. So that's going to gonna be like a whole new market of jobs that humans have to do is just yeah. controlling AI. It's just people being like, "Oh no, think, it's gaining sentience." I think it was like on the Daily Show the other day or something. They were making fun of the term. Oh, it was last week tonight. I think they were making fun of the term prompt engineer because that's a word you hear being thrown around now which is like the person who tells the ai just enters the text prompt like the give me a picture of donald oh, mm -hmm. trump in the shape of an egg uh you know <laughs> like that that person is now an engineer wow i could picture it <laughs> it used to be just yeah. to ask yourself so i'm purpose. an engineer you're wow, an engineer I, I gotta call my parents <laughs> right he's so fucking proud i'm like but yeah. i found out today that i you know me typing things into a, a ai machine it makes you an engineer. an engineer yeah yep I'm you're made it, Ma. That's you're a true. trucker, you know. You're just like driving along. Driving along. Like, <laughs> There's some <laughs> other. Um, <laughs> you know, every time, like, every time I feel a little guilty. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, oh, you want me <laughs> typing in the words? <laughs> I'm a trucker on an interstate of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Now, every time I feel a, a little guilty for uh, for our podcast about art going off the rails, I, I look at the New York Times art section and I don't feel so bad anymore. Their number one uh, story from today is they're making a movie about Sasquatches. Why? You heard about Sasquatch Sunset? You know about this movie coming out? No, I, what is that? So it's a movie with like Jesse Eisenberg and, and a bunch of other oh, famous actors. Is he actors. Sasquatch? He is a Sasquatch. <gasps> oh, I'm already on board. Uh, you're in, right? I'm on board. I mean, it's pretty easy for me. Just Sasquatches are cool. But it's a, it's supposed to be like a day in the life. And from what I understand, it's got um, this piece of art has a, a, a um, progenitor, a, a thing that it's referencing, in my opinion, which is that movie Quest for Fire. Do you ever remember that? No. So this movie from like the 70s, like I think it's like the late 70s or early 80s, and it's called Quest for Fire. And it's a movie about uh, cavemen, like early ancestors discovering fire. It's yes. like three and a half hours long and Whoa. there's not a line of dialogue and in the epic. whole thing. Ooh. Yeah, it's completely silent. There's no English because they're they're freaking cavemen. Yeah. So it's all just grunting. Is yeah. anyone in it? Is there like <clears throat> Oh yeah, there's like famous people in it, but they're all under prosthetics and stuff too. So to me, this feels like a very much like millennial uh hipster rehashing of mm. birth of quest for fire oh there's no dialogue no in dialogue movie? in sasquatch sunset either i'm pretty sure huh. i don't know oh, from my. what i've seen in the trailers and stuff because they're sasquatches they're like rah, 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 rah. yeah uh, uh you ever see that movie son of sasquatch the cgi movie from a few years ago no but i heard of it yeah it's like a cartoon i think it's like i don't know netflix or something mm. like put it out it's just oh, definitely right. direct to video kind of content but, it's in that style of like all those new cartoons right yeah 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 it's like probably just have a guy pumping it through the 
thing. Just like <laughs> some quick animation thing. I don't know. A particular studio somewhere like in the Philippines, probably. Yeah, that yeah. Does it all. It's but like, it's Cal art style. Cal that, art. Yeah, so that style you see now with like um, Gravity Falls and um, the regular show and all those cartoons. And I think Son, Son of Sasquatch is kind of like that style. Okay. Yeah. All comes from the school Cal Arts, which is down in California near um, Disneyland. The regular show slaps. It does kind of slap, yeah. that. Do you see the original short? That it was a, a range oh, it's from. Like, it's kind of like clerks. Yeah, it's kind of like clerks that are like tripping on acid or something at their mm -hmm. job in a in a gas station. Yeah. A lot of stuff that is meant for kids does not come from kid friendly material. Yeah, and, like I remember being at Comic Con like decades ago, where uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Do you remember that comic book? Yes, yes. Yeah, Jonan Vasquez, who later would go on to do um, Invader Zim yeah. for Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah. Like also was, a great show. Yeah, a great show. Yeah. And he was like, he was up there going like, yeah. So when Nickelodeon it, it, you know approached me to do a show, I was like, "What? Like why? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm known for having a super violent comic book and hot topic. Like why do you?" Well, they're all watching that stuff. It's also it's yeah. the '90s, so like everyone's really into. What's that show on MTV that had all the cartoons? Liquid, uh, Liquid television. television. I knew you would know that. <laughs> Aeon Flux. Yeah. All these ones. The that Max. was great. Well, the Max. Stuff. Yeah. Which like the Max actually rewatched and it's like cool animation style, but it's actually kind of a not really, not that great. Yeah, kind of interesting though. It's cool to watch. Yeah, it, it was it was very heavy visually. Yeah, yeah. Aeon Flux is hard to follow too sometimes. Aeon Flux, yeah, but there's like mad toe foot like fit, fetish stuff in that. Like <laughs> the whole thing is like fetish. Yeah, drawing. it's really gross. There's it's, also like uh, there's some show that um, Cartoon Network used to air that was by the same animators, and it was about like this floating city that was like Greek or something. Ooh. Do you remember this? Mm, that's like ringing a bell a little bit, but no. no. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. I'll Help us out. Let us know in the comments what yeah. the heck we're talking about. Do you remember the floating Greek city? Maybe that's just an episode of Aeon Flux or something. Can I read my, uh, my, I, my hat reviews? Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We're doing some local, local stuff here. Well, you have found a hat shop around the corner. Yeah, I did. So last time I came to the show, I was wearing my hat, and I, wanted, I, I had gotten a gift certificate to... Stetson, so I was going to go try on some hats Ooh. and see if they would buy it. Mm -hmm. I went into this shop <clears throat> around the corner from where we are, um, and I before I did some research, of course, and I looked through the uh, reviews, nice. and I took a couple of photos of the funny ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love funny Yelp reviews. Yeah, this is like really old, kind of uh, like early 2000s kind of humor. I'm sorry about this, but it's still, no, like it's it. still classic. Okay, my favorite... So I got two for you. Uh, by the way, this is for JJ Hats. <laughs> JJ Hats. It's been there since 1920 or something And where something is this like located? That. It's on Broadway on like 27th or something. I don't nice. Know. JJ but, uh, Hats review. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, my favorite, by, uh, I won't say the person's name, but uh, uh, five stars. Uh, and just take note of how many times the word hat occurs in this, <laughs> in this Five room. stars is yeah. a good one. My son and I went here just over a week ago. We both purchased hats. I got a flat paperboy style hat, and my son got a Panama hat. Ooh. The sales staff were very knowledgeable and friendly about hats. <laughs> my son is an aspiring hat maker, and he wore uh -huh. in one of the hats he made. He was seeking a professional opinion and advice on his hat. <laughs> <laughs> the staff was very helpful and honest in regards to the hat he brought in. This meant a lot to him, as well as myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's very hat-tastic. Yeah. Okay, the next one, five stars, yeah. six years ago. Uh, and the photo is a, it's a photo of a Stetson hat, and it's upside down in the box. Like, it's just a photo of an upside-down hat. So you don't actually see what the hat looks like. Just the interior. Just the interior. <laughs> this place is absolutely amazing. I am woman, but I've always been into the hat. <laughs> I am woman who's into the hat. Yeah, my, I'm pretty I'm sure these are written by again. AI. Actually. I'm gonna read that line again. I am woman, comma, but I've always been into the hat. Period. Fair. They got some hats that can go with me, so I bought this fedora hat. It's from Stetson. It's so awesome. It's classy, and I love the way it feels. This JJ Hat Center got everything you need. Nice. Three exclamation points. <laughs> Hell yeah, JJ Hats. You're killing it out JJ here. JJ Hat Center. 
Damn, right. five star Shout reviews out. all day long. And he's that. How long do you think that place has been around? Uh, I think since 1920, 1910. Ooh. I don't know. Like some really old. That I went in. I gotta time. say, I went in and I was wearing my hat. And they said, oh, I'm sorry, our milliner is not here. Which, first of all, milliner. Who is, I've never heard that word out loud. Is that like a profession? I think it's the guy who like fixes Shapes your hats hat. and cleans it and stuff. The milliner. Like, think about that. Like that word, I feel like was so prevalent back. Probably, you know, you can probably chase it on taste. Uh, you know, when you do the word check yeah, on yeah, Google yeah. and it shows you how frequently the word was used. Right. So the last one was 1820. 1820. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I've seen the hat and like I was reading like Moby Dick or well, something. Well, I, I had a friend who I thought, um, I thought I had a friend who was a farrier and I thought that they were like a boat captain forever. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, I got to go work on a horse. I'm like, what do you mean you got to work on a horse? Wow. A farrier. Uh, you, you, you ride a boat. He's like, no, I clip horse shoes. Wow. Anyway, that's cool that that place has been around for so long. Like, you know, there's very few places that last that long in Manhattan. Yeah, right. that's cool. There's so much I turnover. Shout out to, there's uh, one, yeah. A shout out to uh, Lance Lappin. Why? What's my going second on with, cousin. Because he's had a salon in between Dwayne oh. and Reed Street for, since like late 1970s. If you need a wonderful haircut, Lance Lappin did not pay for this. Um, yeah, but you can send me money through Ven <laughs> Venmo at any time. Uh, go get a haircut at Lap and Salon. Lap and Salon. I might um, have to start going there. But you know what didn't? You know what has not lasted? with uh, Gavin Brown Enterprises? Oh yeah, is uh, he's partnered now with um, with a new gallery? Uh, I think Hearthstone. What was the name of the one? No, it's um, he's partnered now with uh, Gladstone Gallery. So. I just read an article yesterday that Gavin has now given his like archive to Ooh. the Bard College for curatorial studies. So if you're going to study curatorial studies at Bard, you now have access to Gavin Brown Enterprises uh, archive of all his materials and shows from over the years. Very cool. Which is pretty cool. I'm gotta just going to read a few things here. This is completely you unrelated to anything we've spoken about. That sounds about right for you. So there are like a few things I noticed that like if you don't type all the way what you want to in a search bar, like uh -huh. it will tell you what they think you want to search for. Uh -huh. So I'm just yes. going to read you a few of these because um, I think they're important for you to understand. So I typed in Google search, why do goblins? Just why do goblins? And this is what options it gave me thinking that I may want to find out more information about this. Why okay. do goblins hate dogs? I didn't look it up, but that's one of the searches. Why do goblins work at Gringotts? Don't know what that is. Why do goblins That's like... uh, Harry Potter, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's Harry Potter shit. That's the goblins at Gringotts are the ones that like everyone got mad about because they were like, they look like Jews. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely, oh, they're definitely like anti-Semitic right. caricatures. Yeah. I forgot 100%. about that. Okay. The answer to that one is for the money. Yeah. For the <laughs> the shekels, the shekels. That's why the goblins work at Green Gods. Okay, well, well. Okay, so here's. I just typed in Grandpa doesn't. Oh Grandpa God, I doesn't. don't want to hear about this. I know, right? And, um, <laughs> it's National Nana Day. It is. It is. But I what's think Grandpa? I got grandma. Do? <clears throat> grandpa. So I typed in Grandpa doesn't. This is what it thought I wanted to look up. A few options. Grandpa doesn't know how old he is. Oh, oh man. Shit. Yeah. Just yeah. That's it. He's like, my milliner. Where's my milliner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need my hat. I need my, my milliner face. Get my, my hat, boy. Grandpa doesn't want to paint. Oh. What? That's very specific. Yeah. That's very, very specific. It is. I like that. I one. think these are things that you've searched before no, and just got high God, and forgot about. Ask Grandpa me paint, that. man. Yeah, you just forgot about Why? these. Grandpa doesn't believe he's 98. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa, I don't believe he's 98 either. Grandpa doesn't like Valentine's. Grandpa doesn't care. Grandpa doesn't need breaks. Damn. I don't know why Nanas he doesn't are need having breaks. it hard out here. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and then I simply typed in what if my. Uh huh. What if my. Mm -hmm. So, Google gave me a few options. This a is first, like an art form as well. Yes. What if my. Oh, he's the engineer. Yeah. 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 You're a prompt engineer. Prompt engineer. I get paid a lot of money. <laughs> and my parents are proud. Yes. What if my poop is green? Oh. What if my dog eats a. <laughs> what if my dog eats a grape? Oh. 
Mm -hmm. okay. I think if your poop is green, it's a it's a gallbladder issue. What it's if a, my period okay. is late? And that shows you that I am not looking that up because I don't have a period. But here it told me that I may want to hug look your up dogs, what my folk. period. <laughs> hug your dogs today, folks. It's like your dog day. Yeah, hug your dog day. If your dog eats a grape, hug it and then take it to the dog ER. Yeah, okay. so that they can do surgery on the well, grape. I don't know. I mean, I mean, how many grapes does it take to kill a dog anyway? I think they can eat grapes. Can't they eat grapes? No, no, no. No? No, you can't eat, you know, chocolate, but grapes are bad for them. I think mangoes are really bad for them. Oh, I thought they were pretty omnivorous, really. But I don't, I'm not a dog person, so. I didn't know that. I don't know. I just feed mine raw meat. Raw that meat? I find on the street. <laughs> and, like, grapes by the, like, yeah, like vine. Yeah, down. Yeah, like, it down. with, like, two little other dogs fanning it <laughs> on, like, a little throne. Yes. I swear I'll should make some dog up. art. Now I want to make dog art. Yes, oh. absolutely. Dog art. Dog there's art classic day. dog art out there. You know, there's the one where they're playing poker. Yes. Uh, that's that one the should only be one in the Louvre. Why is that not in the Louvre? Why are there not more movies with dogs? Yeah, dogs, after Airbud, they were like, we're done. Of, of, well, it doesn't have to be the centerpiece, but you know, like the new Joker, the Joker movie that's coming out, they should have had a dog in it too. You know? Wait, there's nice. uh, the Joker 2 is you know? coming out. Joker yeah. 2, yeah. Are that. they afraid of uh, shootings in the theater uh, for this one too? No, people are going to break out into a song. And dance. <laughs> <laughs> is that so this has musical acts? It's a musical, yeah. I no, guess. it is not. Yeah, that's no, what think... they've been saying. I don't know. I, <laughs> it's no, got I, Lady I don't Gaga. Believe you, and I, I don't believe you. And if it is true, I'm upset. <laughs> no, Lady Gaga is involved. Okay. Lady Gaga's in it. She's, in She's it. Harley Quinn. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I, I like the first one. What do you guys think of that? I I enjoyed the first one. I thought it took a lot from King of Comedy by Scorsese with um, Robert De Niro. Have mm -hmm. you seen that movie? I've never seen that movie. No. It's it's a I know that's silly of me. Fucking classic. It's not. Have you right. seen it? Uh, ages ago. Ages it's, ago. So if you have not seen King of Comedy by Scorsese, you will see direct connections, huh. almost scene by scene by scene, all the way up to the very very end. And what's interesting is De Niro plays the uh, talk show host. Right. But in King of Comedy, his character plays almost kind of, of the role of the Joker. Right. But you will Arthur. see a million connections mm. to that movie. Everything's so self-referential. Mm. You know, you can't get away from it. Everything, yeah. Everything's self-referential and just like goes on forever. And I feel like the older I get, the more I see just people being like, wow, look at this thing. And well, being like, yeah, just... that's... This thing that was done well, by that. You're just yeah, talking I mean, about the AI go back feedback to loop eternity for that, right? Before, where you yeah. know, eventually it will erode. Yeah. Well, that's what's well, happening in real life. You know, true. people they keep on remaking the same movies, and they always and, turn out to be way shittier than the original. Like, right. There's not. To, could could you guys think about a situation where they remade a movie and you feel that it was actually better than the original? I think there's one. But I'm spacing on it right I now. I can't think of anything. Like uh, Jurassic World Two. <laughs> Have you seen Jurassic, Jurassic World Two? Who's in recently? That one? No. Guys? Does it hold up real good? Oh God, it is. Is that amazing. when they come to New York City? It is, is that the one when they that's come when to, they the come city to LA. No, no, no. That's the that's the Lost World. That's the, the second one. Oh, shit. That's the original second one. Spielberg did. I'm talking about the one with uh, the one that came out in like 2016 or something. Mm. It's the second mm. one that is the reboot. Okay. This movie has it all. This movie has a island full of dinosaurs, right? Love that. A volcano is going to erupt on the island full of dinosaurs. Check. Fuck. Chris Pratt has to go save the dinosaurs, and there's all this like social media. Everyone's like, "What's going to happen to the dinosaurs? We have to save them!" And like everyone's like, "Well, we don't want to go back to that island. What if the dinosaurs get off?" Okay. <laughs> there are there's so much good about this movie. I mean, there's a scene where Chris Pratt like has to run. He's running down the mountainside and there's lava following him and dinosaurs running away from the lava and they're all eating each other, running away from the lava. And Chris Pratt is outrunning the dinosaurs. <laughs> Excellent. And the lava. <laughs> yeah. And, the lava. and then, and then like get, he has to jump off a cliff into like, it's a clearly a 2000 foot cliff or something. Easy. And like, you know, he's definitely dead. <laughs> he's Chris Pratt. He can do whatever. Oh, it's stunning. He's so I beg yeah. you, I beg you to rewatch okay, this film. Okay, I will, re will rewatch that. Actually, the one that I will bring up is, is and it's not better, it just it continues on, um, and they did a great job, but uh, Mad Max Fury Road. I oh, right. watched that. Good reboot. I actually didn't see that. One of the that few. One. one of the few good reboots. Insane choreographed scenes. Yeah. Oh, I mean the the I mean, you know, the these road wars keep on getting more intense. You know, the first Mad Max yeah. was fairly simple. He was just a cop 
and he had a partner. Yeah. The first one is, is shoestring budget. It's yeah. crazy to watch. Yeah, it's just he's following that that couple, that crazy crime couple, the guy and his mm-hmm. girlfriend, and he's it's like laying waste to everyone. That movie rocks, dude. It's it's awesome. And then two, finally, they start to come up with these crazy ass characters in the future, mm-hmm. with the, you know, the gas and everything. And then it goes all the way up to the one with Tom Hardy, and it's like the choreographed road war scenes are mind blowing and for 2015 the special effects are fucking off the hook yeah mm-hmm. they're That's coming out crazy. with a new one with anya taylor joy it's like is a, it gonna have tom hardy though right i did see that uh, is is he, new Matt? i know is i think she's gonna Matt, be the like main the one. guy with, that had all the weird breast milk slaves no he's the main character right oh tom hardy is the main character. tom hardy yeah. Is the, yeah no yeah oh, he was speaking, saving the breast milk slaves. speaking of yes. reboots yes. we have a there's like an art reboot thing that I, I saw, which was, uh, you know, you remember R. Mutt, uh, the Michelle, Marcel Duchamp urinal, yes. obviously. Yeah. It's the most famous one. Mutt, R. Mutt. Well, the Art Collective Mischief uh, has recently made a sink. They have a sink, and what they did was they went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art here in the city, and they stole and replaced a sink from one of the bathrooms at the Met. They removed it. And then they put it in, like, secretly, surreptitiously, removed a sink, and replaced the plumbing and everything. And they took the whole sink, and they and now it's an art piece. And they have the sink from the Met. That, they they put in their own sink in its place? Yeah, they were like, they, they removed and replaced that, the sink. That's just plumbing. What, do the Mario <laughs> Brothers do that? <laughs> best, best art review of that piece. This is just plumbing. <laughs> yeah. so you're, you're like the you're like the small brained people looking at the at the our mutt urinal. No man, this is art, and it talks about the uh, uh, the way museums acquire work yeah. surreptitiously. It's See, like that always the sunny tree. in Philadelphia thing where uh, you know Danny DeVito's like hate it, hate it. Oh, this I love. Yes. Oh, you know? uh, on go Gablosian is like my spirit he's animal. Like taking a piss. And I like, love that. He's like, like, didn't he fall in love? Let with me the, destroy uh, your gallery. It was the ga- It was the AC. Yeah. The AC. Right. Yeah. No, but I think that's this mischief group's the same ones who are responsible for that, those red, big red boots. You know those cartoon red boots that were going viral. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. The, what, the same Astro group. Boy ones? Yeah, the Astro Boy boots. Same I art collective. thought that was like a Gucci thing. So a group called Mischief, M-S-C-H-F. Okay. Uh, and they were like, they were hired out by Nike. Actually, I might Ew, be. I might be. Come on. Yeah, I know, right? I might be misremembering this, and I, but so don't call me, but or fact check me if I'm wrong. But Mischief, I remember they got their start like during the whole NFT craze. Ugh. They made a pair, and this is going to gross you out even worse. Uh, they made a pair of Cybertruck themed shoes that were not real, that were like CGI, and they put them on a picture of Elon Musk. That went viral. Everyone was talking about the Cybertruck shoes. No. From that one like NFT of Cybertruck shoes from NFT, uh, Nike acquired them for like $14 million. Oh, you dorks. You guys are dorks. <laughs> Honestly, though, that's so fucking lame. Right? God. And then now they're Shut like, the up. Big, you're the next Banksy. Now they're losers. huge, like, cultural players because they, they were making some fake Cybertruck shoes. God, and now they're so stealing sinks. Lame. I'm sorry. Now I they're stealing that. sinks. Ugh. Put the sink back. Put it back. Put it back. No. <laughs> Write a 600 year long music piece like John Cage and the dumb <laughs> fuck is yeah. it? Losers. Anyway, speaking of music. We have you again as a guest, so do we get another performance? I hope so. Yeah, uh, we got about a minute. Till oh. then, tell us what you're gonna what you're gonna perform. Uh, it's a it's a song called "The Downpour," and uh, it's a little bit kind of emo, but it's more country than emo. I hope, anyway. Well, I mean, all countries emo, anyway. But That's true. It's farm emo, is what people call it. Fruit farm. It's yeah, farm from, emo. From emo. Ooh. Country music is farm emo. Cow punk. Um, nice. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's just, you know, it's kind of an old one. Um, I wrote about, well, I guess an old one is a year ago. But um, uh, yeah, and it's uh, just about an old flame. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's nice. Uh, hope, you, hope you like it. Look at me I got nothing left to be but down and out What a drought You're a queen But you're up there and your tower won't come out 
what's that about? I left the scene and I left my yellow bag with all of my shit. I'm an idiot. You're a flower. You're just like a blossom in a cherry tree for eternity. And oh, it's okay. I'll be alright if I can get you off my mind. If I see you out with another guy, I'll do my best to be kind. When I see my reflection in a mirror, it's a fright. He's got a knife. Thunderstorm causes traffic on the mighty BQE. My windshield leaks. Living free is the hardest life to live in NYC. Unless you've got money, you'll be my friend. But your silhouette against your window tree, it paints my memory. And oh, it's okay, I'll be alright if I can get you off my mind. If I see you out. With another guy, I'll do my best to be kind. And oh, I know it's insane to dwell here in this pain, but it's just to feel an echo of the short time that you rained your love on